Hi friends, today I'm playing with this little dragonfly and I think I've told you before, I'm laughing to myself because if you notice, I always have a challenge but I don't try real hard because you know what, I'm like it's fine, I don't care, I like the more organic feel. I drew this little um, dragonfly and getting the right and left sides to match for me is always kind of crazy and wonky but I leave it a lot of times. Same with my hearts, getting the right and left side, sometimes flowers but you know what you guys, I say leave it and it looks more organic. So that's what I'm doing here. I'm going to paint this little guy and I'm going to maybe do some outlining with my MAB watercolors in the Golden Series. You know, I can't stay away from those. And today I'm actually using the MAB Ocean Series. I haven't used that a whole lot. I might play with the Gemstone Series a little bit. Here's the swatch I have. So I thought... Um, this is the Vivid, but that was a little bit more opaque. So I think the Gemstone and really the Ocean Series is the one I'm going to be focusing on. Um, but what I'm going to do first is paint his wings a watercolor um, kind of wash, and then I'll go over it with some of the metallics. Let's go ahead and do that. And by the way, I'm using my Mylane paints. I've already pre-sprayed them with a little bit of water to get them activated. And I think I will be using what they call the Turkey Blue um, and maybe some of the green, maybe some yellows. Let's, you know, I'm always very spontaneous and organic. So that's kind of how I roll. So anyway, that's the paints I'm going to be playing with today. And sometimes I change. I have a little idea. Well, let's see how it goes. And I might be even using this white paint marker. Okay. The brush I am going to use, I was looking for my six long round Princeton. And, oh, here it is. So I'll maybe go back and forth between the two because his little wings aren't too big. Um, you can also, you know, for a beginner, if you don't want to invest in those brushes uh, right off the bat, you can get this whole set of Degato brushes, which I've had these a year. And they were, I think, they were under $15. You get a whole set of 10 uh, or I think in the UK, they, they, you got a set of 13 for under $15. And I've had them a year and look at that beautiful point still on there. So kind of shocked, Agato. Well done. Uh, so you can use those, the rounds, and let's get started. I'm going to create, like I said, a wash. So, oh, also I've got my wash and rinse water here. I was playing a little bit. So it's got a little bit of metallic in there. I don't know if you can see and a little bit of green, but my wash, my rinse, really important. Um, I love my ceramic too well palette. I can't spill it. And you guys, to be honest, I like to feel good when I paint. I love to, that's why I created this palette. I love to have pretty things around me when I'm painting. I've got my roses here on my desk. I've got um, different little cards and things that make me feel happy when I'm painting. So that's important for me. And this mead and water well, um, I really like it. It just feels like quality and kind of custom to me. All right, so let's go in. I'm going to create a very light wash of, let's see, let's do, like I said, I think I'll use that turkey blue. Um, my gosh, I should have washed my palette beforehand. I've got an awful lot of that dark blue, but that's a little bit darker. Before you ask me, um, these are just something special that I was made for me by her. I don't think they sell these. She just made me these little wells. So that's the color I'm going to use. I'm using about, it's very movable. This is about 50-50-50 pigment, 50 um, water. And then I'm going to just tap, tap, tap and get rid of some of that excess. Use the side of my brush to create a wash here. 
like that. Might even add in a little bit more water because I like that washy look. Same here, using the side of my brush and the tip when I get towards the body. And no puddles here, just a nice glaze. And then let's go in there with, rinse my brush, scrape it off. Maybe this tree green. I love this tree green in my lane. I think it's such a beautiful color. You could even do this with adding in some yellow, but I'm gonna use the tree green and just kind of tap in here and there like that. There we go. And then let it really kind of blend and move. I might add in a tiny bit darker blue right here. Again, this is that turkey blue in the My Lang. I laugh every time I use that. There we go. Maybe move it around, let it blend a little. Oop, I got a little out of the edges there. And then I'll go on to his next wing here. And let's see, let's maybe make that one. Let's do a purplish color. I love the Mylang purples and rose colors. They are so pretty, you guys. I think they are truly my favorite. So I'm going to add that here. A little bit too much water. I don't know if you can see that, but I've got a little bit of a puddle. So what I'm gonna do is tap off my brush on a paper towel and just pick some of that up. Because I just want this to be shiny. And don't touch this, um, part because it will run into your area you're doing right now. So there we go. And you can blow on this, get that washy look. I might even pick a little bit of that up. And then let's go on to our next one. I mean, if it blends, it's fine. I wouldn't stress about it. It could be kind of pretty. There we go. So see, it did blend a little bit, and so I might as well make this side blend too. And there you go. I wanted to get really colorful with this. In that, I think what I'll do is bring in some of that blue, and it'll kind of combine the two. So maybe adding a little blue into the base of the wing is kind of pretty. There we go, add in a little bit more of that blue, kind of bring some coherency between the two wings too. Just clean up that edge. So there we go, I kind of like that. All right. Now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead and do his body like a maybe this darker purple color. And I'm just using the tip of my brush like that. And look how beautiful that is. It blended in there. So I might even touch into those and let those blend in. I'm going to go in, let's try this color here, just kind of using what's on my palette here. And light pressure, resting my hand on my sheet and just going in with a little different color there. There we go. All right. Uh, let's see, let's do his little head. And I'm going to go around his little eyes. If you get a petal, just go back in and pick it up. No big deal. I 
feel like I want to add a tiny bit of purple. There we go. Just to give it a little variation. Maybe even in there. So this is the layers that I talk about a lot. I love working in layers. And then let's just get that little tip of his nose using very light pressure. There you go. I think for his legs, I will probably use my Micron pen. Like that. All right. Now, once this draws, what I'm going to do, I need, you know what I need? I'm gonna to have to Google this and see if I can find on Amazon is a very fine liner um, gold marker. But because I don't have that, I'm gonna use this tiny little um, two round Princeton brush. You could also use a rigger, anything that has that fine, fine tip. I very rarely use this. And I'm going to, when this dries, go in there with some gold lines. Meanwhile, I'm going to use my six long round Princeton because it has a little thinner tip than my eight, as you can see there. And I'm just going to go around and create some little leaves and things. Let me grab some green. I'm gonna use my tree green. I mean, not, not tree green, that's tree green, which I love. Let me grab some of my sap green. Put that in here, yeah. And I'll mix it with that tree green, but there we go. And then I'll probably use a little of the olive too. So when it looks like I'm going in with my point, I'm not hitting anything with the point of my brush. You really wanna save that point. I'm loading the side of my brush. That will keep your brushes in good condition for a long time if you show them that love. There we go. I think I'm gonna put a little bit more in the tree green. I need to refill my my Lang palette here with my tubes, my My Lang tubes, thanks to one of you that found the tubes. Okay, and then let's just go in here. You know what? This is coming to me right now. I'm gonna use some gold first. and create kind of a little circle, which I just use, I don't think I have it here. I just use a bowl or something. And I just wanna incorporate the tip, a very fine line. So I'm going to hold my brush for the most right upright. I'm going to anchor my palm of my hand and just start just using little tips. I just love these mobs, these mob italics. They are so wonderful. I thought I might get tired of them, and I really haven't, you guys. I just keep finding ways to use them. So I just went around and kind of added some gold. Hopefully you can see that. And then what I'm gonna do now is go in with these greens and start creating some leaves. And what I'll probably do is go back in with the greens and I mean with the gold and put a little bit on my leaves. So point, press, creating some fun leaves here. Point, press, making them different sizes and different shapes. Point, press. Maybe some tiny little baby leaves. Point press. And I'm kind of mixing some of my colors here, as you can see. Point press. Doing some little tiny leaves, all different. Point press. Point press. I really try to 
vary the sizes, shapes of all of my leaves. Point press. Have some curving. Point press. So there's really a lot of fun interest. Point press. Point press. Maybe some little dabs. There we go. Point press. Fat leaves, point press, using the side of my brush. Get a little bit, oop, as a little thick. Tapping off my brush. And while it's wet, I just go in and tap in a little bit. Get a little bit of a bleed, point press. Point press, point press. Just having fun with these. Point press. Maybe some dark olive color. Point press. Some little leaves. Like that. And look how pretty. Isn't that fun? Point press. Oop. Point press. Trying not to get my hand in the way, and sometimes it makes me do some funky shaped leaves, doesn't it? Okay, I think this is dry, so I could go in there with my little, like I said, a rigger. This is a two Princeton Heritage round, but that is a tiny, tiny, tiny little point. And I'm going to go into my gold. I just love the way this moves. It's almost like molten lava. It's so fun. I could almost just play with the paint. And I'm going to go in and draw some lines. This very lightest. I'm going to add a little bit more water. And hopefully you can see that. Let's see if I can zoom in a tiny bit. Uh, I don't, there we go. And you can see that. I promise, I know I say this all the time, I am going to figure out editing, you guys. So I'm just doing some little lines. Just to break up some of the uh, wing and then I'll maybe outline it. So this takes a really fine touch. And if your hand isn't steady for this, you can always use a marker. So there we go. Let's go ahead and do this wing and I'm just going to turn my paper so my hand isn't in front and go in again. Oh, I just love this these metallics. I keep thinking I'm gonna stop using them and then every time I paint, I'm like, oh gosh, I this is perfect. I need to add metallics to that. So for those of you probably tired of me using those, I apologize, but they're just too fun. Okay, let's do our bottom wing. So pretty. And I'm just kind of breaking them up a bit. This one, hopefully my hand isn't in front of what I'm painting and I'm not blocking it. Get a little more water, just the tiniest bit. There we 
There we go. Oh my gosh, this is, this, oh, uh, this just makes me so happy. Look at that. Isn't that pretty? Now what I'll also do, let me make sure I might need to back up a little. There we go. And that right there, zooming in and out, you guys, that's new for me. Funny, right? I'm such a dork. Um, okay, so I want to use, going back to the different iridescence, I wasn't sure what I wanted to use. She's got so many great colors, all kinds. But I really liked the Ocean series. So I'm going to use that, which is, I believe, this one, Ocean series. Okay. And I'm just going to go in now, hopefully that gold, you know what, actually before I, I'm going to let that dry a bit, I'm going to play with some of these leaves and maybe, let's see here, let's see what color that is. Let's put a little bit of that over the leaves, see what that does. Oh yeah, that's pretty. It almost looks blue, which is really interesting. I'm just going to play. See what we come up with here. Ooh, so pretty. Let's see if we can paint some of these wings. And I don't want to zoom in again. There we go. I'm just painting in the different little areas with some metallics here. Let's try maybe the blue. Ooh, that's a pretty one. Ooh, I like that. Hopefully you can see this, you guys. That's really pretty. I originally was gonna glaze over this, but I'm kind of afraid the gold might not be completely dry. And let's see if I can show you, but this is the beauty that I love of watercolors. Look at these blends here. Oh, you guys, I never can say enough about this. I think what I will do is I kind of like the purple. Most of that Ocean series has a blue tint. I think I like this purple in this Gemstone series better. So let's let's use that on the purple part of his wings. Let's see what we get. Going in with the side of my brush. Oh yeah, that's what I want. Oh my gosh. So I I wish we could all be painting here together because this is just so beautiful. I This is the stuff I can't wait to get up in the morning and share with you guys. I get so excited. I'm going to use some of that blue and touch in here too. Why not, right? Just mix some of this. Oh my gosh. So much fun. Oh, let's see what, hopefully I don't ruin this. Putting purple up here, but you know what? Why not? Let's play. And these metallics are um, transparent enough that you can still see what's under them. I think I'll put some on his body too. That's pretty. I didn't even think about doing that. Okay. Look how lovely. Oh, I love it. Okay. I'm going to use the gold on some of these leaves. And a lot of my leaves look the same value. So I might go in. Let's do that first. Let's go in with are olive green and sap green and i'm going to use more like a mix of 80 percent pigment 20 percent water and let's go in and create a couple darker leaves 
and I'm actually using this brush. Point press. I just felt like I needed a little bit of value difference here. Point press, point. Yeah, that looks more interesting. Point press. There we go. Yeah. See what a difference that makes when you play with those values? Point press. It really pulls out and draws pieces back in. Let's see if we can get a really dark value of that green. Point press. A few. Okay, now let's go over those with some of the gold. So this is the gold series. My other favorite, my favorite for quite a while was the mirror series, but now I've been on a kick with this. And I'm going to kind of outline a few of these. Point, just using the point of my brush. I'm hoping this shows up in this video because it's just so pretty. I really want you to see it. I might even go in and, oh my gosh. Now I think I need to make some cards with this. Look at that, let's do his little eyes gold. Ooh, so fun. Point, just using the point of my brush and outlining some of these. There we go. Especially the darker ones because this gold really shows up on those. Point, there we go. And if you go out of the lines, I think that's even better. I think that looks even prettier, much more organic. Let's see, let's do, I'm trying not to put my hand in my paints. Let's see if we should even add in some little gold leaves. That might be kind of fun. I'm telling you, I, I paint so spontaneously and I'm always saying this is either gonna be wonderful or a complete fail. But you know what, if it's a fail, we learn together, guys. And most of the time, I accept those fails because there's something good about it. There we go. Oh, this gold paint. I'm gonna have to order some more. I'm almost out. I really, after using the mirror series, I didn't even think I'd use any other metallic, but I'm loving these. Okay. Well, I think I'm about done. Isn't that so pretty? Now, if you were good at calligraphy, you could write a little message in there. Oh, I really hope this is showing up for you. And you can see that beautiful metallics. We could even do maybe a little splattering of the gold. Now, I may be getting completely carried away here, guys. So you can stop right now if you want. Let's see, though. I've never splattered this gold, so I don't even know. Oh, there, there it goes. It's a little bit thicker. You might have to add a little bit more water, but it's working. Yeah. So just another little touch there. All right, guys, I hope you enjoyed that. Um, if you want, I can supply the drawing for this. I just kind of hand drew it. It's kind of wonky. One side's a little different than the other, but you know what? I'm kind of wonky too, and I probably have one side of me that's different than the other, right? So that's what I go for. I don't go for perfection. I go for joy, and I feel like when you paint with that joy and fun, it really shows in your paintings as well. All right, everybody, thank you so much for being here. You guys are so inspiring for me, and I just love our time together, and um, I hope you give this a try. All right, I'll talk to you soon.